<laughs> Got him. Here you go. Oh, my beautiful baby boy, Robert Boyle. Robert Boyle was born on January 25th, 1627 in County Waterford, Ireland. <laughs> Boyle's father died while he was still living in Geneva. He then lived with his sister Catherine. Boyle later went to a college which he called the Invisible College, but soon became the Royal Society of London and it provided Boyle's only contact with the world of science. Look at here I am at the Invisible College where I learned my best science skill. <laughs> oh my Lanta, is that Galileo dead on the floor? <laughs> Galileo died in his villa in our century near Florence while Boyle was living in the city. He carefully studied Galileo's works. If any one event shaped Boyle's life and directed him towards science, then it was this. <laughs> <laughs> Boyle decided to go to Oxford. At Oxford, he joined a group of forward looking scientists, including John Wilkins, John Wallace, Seth Ward, and Christopher Wren. Hey guys, can I he join you? He made important contributions to physics yes. and chemistry and is best known for Boyle's law describing ideal gas. Boyle discovered that sound did not travel in a vacuum. He provided that flame required air as did life, and he investigated the elastic properties of air. Dun, dun, dun. I don't understand, Robert. What? What? Oh. Robert, help! We don't know how to get this to work! Robert, what is this? Uh, guys, I got this. Stop. <laughs> yeah. It's 1652 and I'm living in Ireland. I'm really rich because of Cromwell. I need money. <laughs> Boyle was a very generous man and many around him benefited from his generosity. In the skeptical chemist 1661, Boyle argued against Aristotle's view of the four elements, earth, air, fire, and water. <clears throat> no, I'm right. No, you're wrong. Matter is composed of corpuscles. Okay, now just zoom in on those ideas that the primary particles move freely in fluids, less freely in solids. Boyle had conducted many experiments which led him to believe in a vacuum, and having found no experimental evidence of either to reject the idea. Um, yeah. His work in chemistry was aimed at establishing it as a mathematical science based on a mechanist theory of matter. Boyle was the one of the first to extend the application of mathematics to chemistry, which he tried to develop as science whose complex appearance was merely the result in simple mathematical laws applied to simple fundamental particles. <laughs> I seem to have successfully avoided such attempts to marry him off and- Hey Robert! Huh? Come here Robert, come lay with me. I can't even do that because I don't like girls, I like science. Science is the only love for me. June 1670, he had a stroke, <clears throat> which left him oh! paralyzed. <laughs> which left him paralyzed. Okay. Robert Boyle died on December 30th, 1691. Oh, I'm doing this right now. What? Go. Slow motion. Oh, oh. I'm Brady Johnson, and I played Robert Boyle in Galileo. <laughs> Wait, what did I do? You were narrator. I did narrator. See, I'm Courtney. Courtney. Yeah, I'm Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start over? Can we cut this scene out? Nope, please? just go. Just have, like, I'm Courtney, and I did um, the narrator in the guy crying. I'm Brittany, and I did some narrator in Galileo. And Catherine. And Catherine. <laughs> what did I do? You were in the science group. Like, the science star. group and the supporter, yeah. mother supporter. I'm Andrea, and I was in the science group and the supporter. Same, guest star. Guest star. <laughs> star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, wait, 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 do it to me. Do it to me. You gotta ask me. Uh huh. Wait, hold on. Okay. <laughs> wait, make sure it's recording because it was on it record. It is. Okay. I'm Christy, and I was in the science group and recorder guy. <laughs> okay, are you zooming? <laughs> You, you may bow. You may bow. Oh, I curtsied. Like, Courtney told me to. 
Okay.